points Z1 and Z2 represent complex numbers Z1 and Z2 shows that Z1 multiplied by Z2 complex conjugate is equal to a given expression. So let's consider Z1 multiplied by Z2 complex conjugate. It is equal to R1 e to the power i alpha. How to get complex conjugate? We need just to replace every i by negative i. So it becomes R2 e to the power of negative i theta and it is equal to r1 r2 e to the power i alpha minus theta as required the next given that real part of this result is equal to zero shows that z1 o z2 is a right angle triangle so the uh, formula is given in data booklet and uh, it is equal to r1 r2 cosine alpha minus theta plus i sine alpha minus theta and real part is just uh, this part with cosine so we can write that real part real part is equal to r1 r2 cosine alpha minus theta and it is equal to zero and since alpha minus theta is greater than zero and less than pi there is only one possible solution it's pi over two and what is alpha minus theta it's angle z uh, z1 o z2 so z1 o z2 angle is pi over two hence triangle z1 o z2 is uh, a right angled as required the next in uh, part cd consider the case where z1 o z2 is an equilateral triangle express z1 in terms of z2 equilateral implies that o z1 is equal to distance uh, is equal to distance uh, o z2 and is equal to z1 z2 and uh, uh, this distance is actually modulus of a complex uh, number so uh, r1 is equal to r2 and also each angle is uh, 60 degrees so so let's consider z1 z1 is r1 e to the power i alpha and z2 is r2 e to the power of uh, negative uh, of uh, i theta and from here r2 is z1 divided by e to the power of i theta or multiplied by e to the power of negative i theta and since r1 is equal to r2 we can substitute r2 for r1 and get that z1 is z2 e to the power of i alpha multiplied by e to the power of negative i theta which is equal to z2 e to the power of i alpha minus theta but alpha minus theta is 60 degrees of pi over 3 so it becomes z1 is z2 e to the power of i pi over 3 and the next question hand shows that z1 squared plus z2 squared is uh, z1 multiplied by z2 and hence implies that we must use the previous result so since um, z1 is equal uh, in terms of uh, z2 so we can write that z1 squared is z2 squared e to the power of i2 pi over 3 plus z2 squared is we can see that we can factor out z2 squared and it becomes e to the power i 2 pi over 3 plus 1 and we can uh, calculate it because e to the power i 2 pi over 3 it's cosine 2 pi over 3 plus i sine 2 pi over 3 and plus 1 and it is equal to cosine 2 pi over 3 it's cosine of 120 degrees it's minus uh, cosine of 60 it's minus a half 
plus i sine of 120 degrees it's the same as sine of 60 so root 3 over 2 plus 1 and it's plus a half plus i root 3 over 2 and you can guess since we need z1 times z2 uh, z2 multiplied by the value in parentheses must be equal to z1 but how to show that we can use again this result and uh, from from uh, c the first part z1 is z2 and uh, we can again use uh, the same formula it's cosine pi over 3 plus i sine pi over 3 which is equal to z2 it's a half plus i root 3 over 2 hence hence z2 squared a half plus i root 3 over 2 is equal to z2 multiplied by z1 as required the next part let uh, z1 and z2 be the distinct roots of uh, the equation z squared plus az plus b is zero use the result from c the second part it's uh, this result to show that a squared minus 3b is zero if we consider sum and product a rule, sum of roots is uh, minus a and product is b. And uh, why do I use sum and product rule? Because I uh, see that I can transform such uh, equation into something where there will be only sum and product and how to do that we need uh, uh, complete a square and complete to complete a square we can just add to the one z2 and subtract it's zero so it remains the same but the first three terms give z1 plus z2 squared and minus 3 z1 z2 is 0 and it becomes a squared minus 3b is 0 as required the next consider the equation z squared plus a z plus 12 is 0 given that alpha minus theta is greater than 0 and less than pi deduce that only one equilateral triangle can be formed and uh, we can see that b is 12 hence a squared minus 3 times b it's minus 36 is 0 so a squared is 36 and a is plus minus 6 in general and uh, just let's try to solve this equation using discriminant so discriminant is a squared minus uh, minus 4 times 12 but a squared is 36 so it's 36 minus 4 times 12 which is minus 12 and the roots are minus a plus minus root of negative 12 which is equal to 2 root 3 i and over 2 and since there are two possible values away uh, we should consider each so for a which is equal to negative 6 we get that roots are 6 plus minus 2 root 3i over 2 which is equal to 3 plus minus root 3i and let's show these roots on a diagram they are here 3 minus root 3i uh, definitely here uh, is uh, 60 degrees because uh, condition used uh, is uh, uh, that uh, this condition is for equilateral triangle 
so angle is 60 and we need consider angle alpha uh, initial point zero is here and positive angles is in anti-clockwise direction and according to notation we can see that alpha is greater angle in anti-clockwise direction uh, theta is smaller and so alpha is here and theta is here and uh, definitely here is 30 degrees also theta is 30 degrees uh, so we can write that alpha is 2 pi minus uh, 30 degrees or pi over 6 which is 11 pi over 6 and theta is uh, pi uh, over 6 hence alpha minus theta is 10 pi over 6 or 5 pi over 3 which is greater than pi and uh, it doesn't doesn't uh, satisfy condition that alpha minus theta must be in between 0 and pi so uh, such triangle is in, in possible or oh, actually we can see it directly from uh, from the graph that alpha minus theta is uh, greater than pi and now we need to consider situation for a to be equal to 6 and the roots are negative 3 plus minus root 3i and it looks like this negative 3 plus root 3i negative 3 minus root 3i and again uh, here is uh, 60 degrees and alpha is greater angle so alpha and theta is this angle and definitely we can see it uh, from uh, graph that alpha minus theta is less than pi and it's actually 60 degrees or pi over 3 and it satisfies condition uh, or we can write that alpha is pi plus pi over 6 because it's a half it's 30 and uh, theta is pi minus pi over 6 and hence alpha minus theta is uh, 2 pi over 6 or pi over 3 as required and it satisfies it satisfies uh, so uh, there is only one possibility to obtain a required uh, triangle with uh, this condition only for for a uh, to be equal to 6 and it's this result and that's all for this question